Hi Libra, I'm here to do a reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be assured that the readings may or may not resonate with your situation. Um, yeah, so if they resonate, take it. If you don't, leave it. Okay, Libra, so let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, what does Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know right now? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have a Aquarius energy at the bottom with the star card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be in the process of healing from something. Um, I feel like someone may be seeing you, like recognizing you at this time, Libra. But let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Libra. Oof, Libra. Yeah, somebody really is seeing you. With the devil and the ace of wands, I feel like someone is like, so, okay, I'm getting two things. If this has to do with a relationship, somebody here is seeing you. Someone could be completely obsessed with you, obsessed with trying to have a new beginning with you. Somebody could be really wanting to have sex with you, like really bad, Libra. Like really bad. And somebody wants you badly. And they, they're starting to become like super obsessed. Okay, this could be a Capricorn. This could be an Aquarius. But somebody just, they see you and they want you. Yeah, yeah we have here the Nine of Wands. We have here the Magician. You could have put up boundaries against someone. This could have been a Virgo or a Gemini. But somebody is, they don't care. They're going to try to manipul manipulate their way around these boundaries that you put up, Libra. Somebody going to try to manipulate their way around these boundaries. It's like, this person not going to take no for an answer. That's what I'm hearing, like, I'm not taking no for an answer. So, let's see here. Tell me more for Libra, Holy Spirit. Yeah, we have here the tower and we have here the four of wands. Because somebody cannot fathom not having you in their life. Somebody just, even though it's been a tower moment, I feel like they're not accepting it. They always see you as the one, as theirs. This is definitely a relationship reading with the four of wands being here. Somebody sees you as if you're theirs. They're obsessed with you in all ways, especially sexually though. And I don't know why did you put these boundaries up, but they they trying to wiggle around these boundaries. Somebody could be manipulative. Yeah, they trying to change this ending. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords, they like, uh-uh. They not accepting it. <laughs> Someone's trying to change an ending or reverse an ending. Someone here is not accepting the fact that you don't want to deal with them, Libra. They're not accepting it. They're trying to change your mind. They're going to do what it takes to change your mind. They want to be on the top of your... Like, you used to probably make this person your top priority, but you no longer make this person your priority, and they they don't want to accept this. Let's see here. Yeah, let me tell you. This person is willing to come in. They're going to argue, fight with you. Like someone may come and bring you a gift and you, if you don't take this gift that they come in to bring you, they may get upset. They may try to cause a type of fight. Someone could be um, fighting with other people or fighting to get towards you to give you something here. I feel like somebody has a gift for you. You may not want to accept this gift, so they're going to try to fight. Okay, someone could be trying to cause some type of confusion. Yeah, because look, the Two of Cups and the King of Swords, you definitely could be dealing with a Libra like yourself or a Gemini or an Aquarius, strong Aquarius. Or this could be you, Libra. It's like you're not giving up on this relationship. It's a no. And we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy. Yeah, it's like your mind. Look, they not accepting this ending here. They're not accepting it, Libra. They're not budging. They're not moving. Their hands are crossed. They're like, no, I'm coming towards you no matter how much you say this is over. <laughs> like, Libra, let's see here. Let me clarify. I'm definitely going to be using my relationship deck for y'all because 
Oh my God. What is this devil card for Libra? I mm -hmm. can't get enough. Can't get enough of you. Yeah, we got here. Look. For life forever. This person not playing with you. Look. They addicted to you with the devil card. And this addicted to you is also my obsession card. Because I don't have an obsession card in this deck. But this can be. This can equate to obsession. It's like they're never going to. It's like. Oh, I'm her. I will never find another lover more sweeter than you, more sweeter than you. And I will never find another lover more precious than you, more precious than you. Girl, you are close to me to like my mother, close to me to like my father, close to me to like my sister, close to me. What is this that it was? Okay. So we have here in a relationship, we have here Virgo, we have here born in the sheets, and we have here Leo. So I don't know if there's a Virgo and, or a Leo involved in this, or this person sees you as these qualities, bold, radiant, fearless, kind, loyal, and cheerful. Because that's, that's the way I describe these signs. But anyway, y'all, when I made this deck, I'm like, what is a Leo? Bold, radiant, fearless. But anyway, someone could be in a relationship. Um, someone could feel like the person they're in a relationship with is, is born in the sheets with this person. This could be how you felt about this person, which is why you put up boundaries, but they don't feel like you're born in the sheets. Let's see. What is this tower card? Now, this is a lot. Okay. I'm going to Well, we got Libra at the bottom of the deck. So Libra, is this you feeling this way? Somebody here could be dealing with a lot of different people. Because we even have your Gemini and Cancer. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Libra. But we have your toxic love and being honest with you. So I feel like you being honest with this person, maybe you telling them they toxic. This was a tower moment for them because maybe they felt like it was always going to be for life and forever when it came with to you and them. What is this will of fortune? Okay. Yeah, we have here crushing on you. Yeah. And then we have here faithful. This person not trying to let you go. I feel like this person faithful to this relationship. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe this person, maybe they didn't cheat. They could have cheated, but they probably just have a lot of toxic ways. They may be very possessive, controlling, clingy. What is this? Six of Pentacles. We have here ghosted. Well, we have here falling out of love with you, caught up and ghosted. So this could have been you. You you fell out of love with this person, but they still love you. You may have even ghosted them. You stopped giving to them because you don't. You no longer have feelings for this person anymore, Libra. Or well, this could be um, this person, somebody towards you. Just take it how it resonates, only if it resonates. So what is this to a cup for Libra? Yeah, we have here letting go. And we have here the other woman. So, okay, so someone could be letting go of a relationship for another woman. Or, um, so what is this other woman here? I, I wasn't feeling there was somebody else, but it could be. Because so I asked what's the two of cups. So I don't know if this person was already in a relationship with somebody. You know what? Somebody could have been in a relationship with a Virgo. And this person was hooking up with you, though. And I feel like they felt like you was going to always be there, even though they was in this relationship, Libra. It's like they thought that you weren't going to let them go. Or someone could be letting go of a relationship for you. Let's see. Tell me one. Give me one more card for letting go. Okay, so we have here fake and phony that flew on the floor. Then we have here making love and we have here late night calls and texts. Yeah, somebody here is, um, maybe they pretended to let go of something or they're being fake about letting go of something or faking it in a relationship and they really make love to you or this could be vice versa. I don't know. What is this thing of swords? <laughs> yeah, we have here nasty, nasty, freaking already taken. So yeah, you, this could be a third party situation here. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I see Scorpio. What is this affair? Yeah, somebody had an affair. So, Libra. Somebody here is having an affair. It could be this King of Swords. This could be you, or you could be dealing with another King of Swords, or this is just somebody in this energy. But I feel like they still want to hold on to you because you're wish fulfillment, or you may be the one that's in a relationship with this person and they dealing with somebody else. <sighs> Switch the roles, change the roles. Well, maybe this is not even for you. Okay, Libra, so let's just see. I'm going to pull some advice. That's pretty much what you need to know at this time. I do see the procrastination card here. So maybe somebody you were dealing with, maybe they was like, oh yeah, I'm separated from this person. We about to get a divorce. Or we don't, we don't mess around around. We, I'm not with this person anymore. We don't mess around anymore. And this person is really still connected with this other person. And this may be why you let go. Now, I'm always ashy right here. Somebody give me some lotion. <laughs> I'm finna put some on after this reading. But let's see. Holy Spirit. What does Libra need to know? Libra. We have here Believe. And Virgo got this same card. So you definitely could be connected to a Virgo. So I'm going to read this to you. Number 51, Believe. So it says... Your struggling phase is over. There is magic in the air, enhancing your energy and giving you awesome advantages. Spread your wings, believe you can fly. Set your expectations higher than ever before. Set your expectations higher than ever before and know that you can realize your dreams. Focus your thoughts and feelings on what is good about your life. This gives you confidence to achieve greatness in anything you choose. Believe in miracles because you are one. And there's an affirmation. I am accomplishing my goals with grace and ease. I believe in myself. Absolutely. Okay, Libra. So I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Libra. Bye.